Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with The Tapping Flamingo. Today I am going to do a little experiment with painting on metal. So this month in the Bargain Bead Box, we got some really yummy goodies. I am so excited about the Coastal Breeze theme that was in July of 2022's Bargain Bead Box. All my favorite things. And one of the things we got was this starfish here, and I want to paint him. And I've been doing investigating. I've gone all over the place. I've seen a, a lot of you um, painting him. Uh, I think uh, Thunder Horse Descendants, Wendy Whitman, I'm trying to think of who else. A lot of you have either discussed painting him or have actually done it. And I've been looking for... Um, the vintage uh, paints for metal, but I'm going to have to order them off of Amazon. Our Hobby Lobby doesn't have it. Um, anyway, I want to do it now though. <laughs> I went to Hobby Lobby and was looking all over for metal paints. I did find this and it's for glass and I'm kind of wondering if this would work. Um, I finally asked somebody, and they said they don't carry the Vintage anymore, but they did carry this. And look, right here it says, um, oh, where did it say? Somewhere on here it says, for metal paint. Metal, right there. So I'm thinking this is going to work. And we're going to do a little experimenting before I actually paint this guy up. I'm going to use these two and I'm going to do one with the glass paint and one using the one of these. All right, so I have my paint brush and I have my water off to the side and uh, I'm going to squeeze a little bit of paint on my plate here. It's just a star from plate, but I'm going to shake this up. I'm shaking this up really well, and I'm going to open it up and squirt some. Oh, this is really pretty. I love this color. Actually, I'm not going to use a plate. I'm just going to dip it right out of here. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to paint it. And my thought is to paint this, but then wipe some of it off. See if this works. Put my brush in the water there. And I'm just going to dab some of this off. I do not have a UV lamp. I, did, I didn't want to invest in one at this point. Let's see. It's not as dark as I wanted that. It's a really pretty color, but not really showing up that much. Let me see if I can do another coat. All right, this is just practice, so I'm going to leave him alone. But that's the glass paint. And let's see how durable that is. But like I said, it needs to cure, I think, for 24 hours. I don't know about you, but I have a hard time seeing all those itty-bitty-bitty bitty words. <laughs> so 
I may have to go get a magnifying glass and reread all that. I set him aside so he can dry and cure. And now we're going to use the ultimate paint for jewelry crafting. Permanent to wood, metal, resin, leather, and more. And you don't need a UV light for this. So I've already um, painted the other piece and I used this turquoise. And I have it sitting right here to dry. And uh, uh, this said to let it dry for an hour. And these say one thin coat to let it dry for like 15 minutes. I'm going to let them both dry an hour and then I'm going to come back. All right, so it's been over an hour. This is um, the glass paint. And I did kind of buff it a little bit with um, one of these sunshine polishing cloths. And um, some of it came off, which is fine. I really didn't want the whole thing to be covered with the paint. I kind of wanted it to go into the creases. Um, and let me see. Let's try to scrape this off here with my nail. Okay, I don't think it's scraping off. I scraped a little bit over here before it was totally dry, and it did come off. But I don't see that it's scraping off. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, it is a little bit. Okay, so that's, that's the glass paint. And here... <laughs> I did all the colors of this uh, ultimate paint. Um, and I did the front and the back. And the back I actually put out in the sun. And uh, let's see if it scrapes off. I don't see that it's scraping off. I'm wondering if this is going to be long enough maybe for a bracelet. I may just put it together for a bracelet and just wear it um, to see. I'll have to add some something to it, but I just want to wear it and see if it works, if it's going to um, wear okay. So I have it all put together as a bracelet, and um, I, I may wind up taking this back apart again. This is just kind of an experiment because I want to see how durable this paint is. And um, this paint is the glass, the glass paint. The rest of these are these um, ultimate paints. And I just took some jump rings and put them all together. I did a every, you know, up, down, up, down, <laughs> alternating the way that the um, links went. And I do have a couple in there that I didn't paint, but I'm going to wear this around for the next few days and see how durable this paint is. I may have to add one more link there um, because I am planning on, I think I'm going to even wear it to bed. <laughs> so I will return in a couple of days and show you how it wore. So I have been wearing this bracelet for more than 24 hours. I wore it to bed last night. I've been wearing it on my right wrist. I'm right-handed, so it's been through some, <laughs> some abuse. Um, I took a shower in it, which you should never ever do that, but I wanted to see how this paint held up. I really wanted to put it through some abuse. And you know, it's actually held up really nicely. I think I'm going to use it on this starfish. I'm excited to do that. I just got to figure out what color I want to use. The look that this has given me is the kind of the, it's been out in the sun at the beach weathered look. And that's kind of how I want this guy to look. One thing, we have texture on the front of these links. So I think the paint adheres better. On the other side, 
It's very shiny and slippery. And I'm, I've actually been trying, I've been taking my nail and trying to scratch it off. And it is scratching off a little bit. But it's, like I said, it's very shiny and um, no texture on there. So I think eventually it will come off. But I'm not thinking it's going to come off as easily since we have more texture on this side. So now I'm ready to paint him. I'm trying to figure out what color I want to paint the starfish. So what I did is I went ahead and took out the beads that I see me using in the necklace for this. Or I'm not sure if I'm going to make a necklace or not. Probably will. But whatever I'm going to make with him. Um, because I could make an ornament. Hmm. Well, let's see. I do know that I want to use these shells. They're kind of a, a very light pink, which means we have pink here. And here's the pink. So I think it's going to look good. And I want, I think I want to put some yellow. So we're going to use the yellow. And now I'm trying to figure out which of these, the green, which they're calling this green opal, or this is turquoise, but to be honest with you, it's more of a blue. The, the green actually looked more turquoise. <laughs> so these are the beads that I've chosen that may be in this piece. So I'm going to go ahead and paint him up. Uh, I'm going to use one of these two colors for, for the main color. I want the silver to show through. So I'm going to get a napkin, and as I paint, I'll be wiping it off. And I want the paint to go into the crevices here. And then these other colors, um, originally I wanted to put some uh, rhinestones in there and do some bling, but I think I just may take a really small paintbrush or something and dab it inside their, their little indentions. And I, I think I can make it look like that there might be some beads in there. So let me play around with him, and I'll be back. So here it is all painted, and I love the way it came out. And I only used two colors. I did wind up using the green opal, which I don't think it looks that green. To me, it almost looks like a turquoise. And then I used a little bit of the pink just inside there. And to me, this looks like it's been very, um, it's been out in the sun. Maybe it was like whitewashed, and then it was out on the coast, and the sun has just kind of faded it a little bit. And that's exactly the look I want. Now, it is a sunny day today here in Louisiana. It is probably about 103 degrees outside or more. I don't know what the heat index is. It's probably a lot higher. But I am going to put this in the sun for a little bit to cure it. And then I'll be making a piece of jewelry of some sort with this. But... I'm going to let that be another video, so stay tuned, and thanks for joining me today, and y'all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo, signing out for now. Bye-bye.